Hey guys, Megan Mitchell here. We've been getting some amazing submissions to our Stella Artois food board. And this week, you inspired me to head up to the beautiful Finger Lakes in upstate New York. I'm gonna explore the area, do a little fishing, and cook up an incredible meal. The Finger Lakes get their name, well, because they kind of look like fingers. And there are adorable towns which are usually on the north and south ends, like Watkins Glen, which is on Lake Seneca. And amazingly, it's also the trout capital of the world, so I had to go fishing and try and catch something for my meal. Fishing's just so relaxing. Kind of be out on the water and not really think of anything. Woo! I didn't catch anything. You win some, you lose some. Luckily, there are amazing fish markets all around here, so I'm gonna go pick up some trout. In honor of being here in the Finger Lakes, I'm gonna do my take on fish and chips. I'm gonna start with my sauce, which is a tartar sauce, and I'm gonna put fresh dill and capers in it so it'll be really salty and tangy. It'll go great with the fish. I'm gonna start by chopping my fresh dill, and I need about two tablespoons. I love dill. It's really fresh. It actually reminds me of ranch dressing, which is one of my favorite condiments. I'm just gonna scoot this up to the side and move on to my capers. The thing I love about capers is they're really tangy and salty, so I don't wanna over-season it. So I have 3 fourths cup of mayo here that I'm gonna add my capers and my dill to. Next, I'm gonna add sour cream, and you need a half a cup. About a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Next, I'm gonna use the zest and the juice from one small to medium-sized lemon. And grating it with this facing up actually helps you monitor how much zest you're putting into your dish. I'm gonna juice it over my hand so I catch any of these seeds. And the joy of being outside means I can just put these behind me. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little pepper, and then I'm gonna stir it all together. This has to be one of my favorite tartar sauces. So I'm just gonna give this a little taste before I add any salt. It needs just a little bit. So now that my sauce is done, I'm gonna move on to my chips. I'm actually doing a potato and celery root pancake instead of your typical french fries. I'm gonna start with my russet potatoes, which I've already peeled, and I'm gonna grate them on the large hole of a box grater. I'm putting this potato in some cold water for two reasons. One, I don't want it to oxidize, and two, I want to remove some of the starch. And now onto our celery root, and it's literally the root of the celery. They have a faint celery taste, and I think it's gonna go really great with these potatoes and a little red onion under the fish. I'm gonna move this aside and move on to my onion. And I'm gonna chop this part off, but I'm gonna leave this on so I can hold on to it. This onion's pretty large, so I'm only gonna do about half of it. And I'm using a red onion for the flavor and for the color. Now I'm gonna put it all together, starting with my celery root. And next, my grated potato, and I just wanna squeeze all of this liquid out. If I kept that in, it'll make my potato pancake really soggy. You can see it stayed bright white, and that's because I put it in the water. And in goes a little red onion. I'm gonna add two large eggs, which act as the binder with the flour to keep this potato pancake together. And now, two tablespoons of flour. I'm adding chives not only for the mild onion flavor, but also they add a lovely color. Some freshly grated pepper. And lastly, a little salt. Let's mix this all together. You just wanna make sure everything's evenly dispersed and distributed. You don't wanna bite into a big chunk of onion or anything like that. These look great, I'm gonna put them on the grill. And first, I'm gonna put a little olive oil so these babies don't stick. To portion out my potato pancakes, I'm gonna use a one-third measuring cup. And not only does it keep everything even, it's also really nice because you can use it to flatten them down. So what I'm doing here is a shallow pan fry. It's not deep frying. I just wanna get a nice crust and make it really crispy on the outside. These look great, and now on to my fish. I have some local trout, and there are amazing local fish markets and places to get really, really great fish up here, so I'm gonna put it to good use. We're gonna start with our buttermilk for our wet mixture, and because I'm pairing this dish with Stella Artois, I'm using a hot sauce, which I think will balance the sweet and malty notes of the beer. And now for just a little salt and pepper. Since trout is a mild fish, this buttermilk, hot sauce, and salt and pepper is really what's gonna give its flavor. 
So now I'm gonna put my fillets in, and you wanna make sure and coat both sides. I'm gonna let them soak in here for a couple minutes to make sure that they really absorb those flavors. So now I'm gonna add my panko crumbs to another dish, and that's what will give it its really crispy, crunchy outside. I'm gonna oil my grill, make sure these don't stick. And here's the rule, I keep one hand wet and one hand dry. So I'm gonna grab my fish and put it in here using my dry hand to sprinkle. I wanna get a really nice dredge on this fish. Cooking around three to four minutes on each side should do the trick. My fish is almost done, so while that finishes up, I'm gonna start plating. I'm gonna start with our dill caper sauce. I'm gonna do a nice little amount on the plate. Acts like a little bed for the potato pancake and the fish. And next, our beautiful potato pancake. Our fish is ready. I'm gonna cut this into three pieces on the diagonal, which makes it kind of a nod to fish and chips. This is more of a, a fork and knife fish and chips. Since we have this really nice crispy fish and this potato pancake, the dill just adds a nice little pop of color. I think it looks gorgeous. This is a perfect dish to enjoy while watching the sunset on a gorgeous lake. I had a blast here in the Finger Lakes. Thanks for sending me here. Where should I head to next? Be sure to tag your favorite food and destinations to the Stella Artois Food Board with SA Food Board. I can't wait to see where you send me.